Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about services in Angular. What is the agenda of today's video? First, we will discuss about what is service, some key points, followed by a demo. Services are fundamental building blocks of the framework. They are used to organize and share code and data across different components, modules and other part of Angular application. Services are typically used to encapsulate logic that is not directly related to user interface but provide functionality that can be shared by shared and reused throughout application. Here are some key points about services in Angular. First will be purpose. Services in Angular are responsible for handling tasks such as data retrieval, API, performing calculations, managing states, and communicate with other services. That is the purpose of services in Angular. Next, singleton. Angular services are singleton object, meaning that there is only one instance of a service created and shared across application. This ensures the data and state are consistent throughout the application. Next, we will see dependency injection. Services in Angular are typically used with dependency injection system. This means Angular injector is responsible for creating instance of a service and injecting them into the component or other services that depend on them. Next, injectable decorator. To define a service in Angular, we use injectable decorator. This decorator marks the classes as an injectable services and allow it to be registered with Angular Dependency Injection System. Next, separation of concerns. Services help enforce the principle of separation of concerns by keeping the business logic separate from the presentation logic in components. Components delegate tasks to service, making them more focused on rendering the user internet. Next, reusability. Services are designed to be reusable. They can be shared and used by multiple components, making it easier to maintain and update common functionality throughout the application. Testing. Services are easier to test in isolation because they are independent of the user interface. Unit testing can be performed on services to ensure their functionality is working correctly. Overall, services in Angular play a crucial role in providing a modular and maintainable structure to your application, facilitating code re reuse, separation functions effectively. They enable you to build scalable and testable application by promoting a clear separation of responsibility between component and services. Next, we will see a demo. I will use VS Code for the demo. First, we will create a Angular application. For that, we will use terminal, new terminal. Here, I will type CLI command ng new and my application name. That is interface demo. Hit enter. Now, it is asking whether we want to add Angular routing or not. I will press yes. Now, our application is created. What we will do? We will go to our application directory. For that, I will type cd my application name. That is interface demo. Hit enter. Now, we are in the application directory. Next, we will create a new service using Angular CLI command. So, the CLI command is ng generate then service, then my service name. In my case, I type my service name is my service. I will hit enter. I will press yes. Now, we have generated our service. This will generate a service file and its corresponding unit test file. So to see that, we will go to source, 
then up we have my service dot spec dot ts file and my service file this is our service class now we'll create a service method for example i create a sample method like get greeting of type string and we'll return some value so our method is ready now we we'll call this method using our component.ts file we we'll move to app component.ts file now we we'll import our service here next we will delete this line because we don't need this line and we will define a property here called as greeting of type string so to use the greeting service in the component we need to inject it into the constructor we will create a constructor here This is our constructor. We'll make a service call now. Get greeting is the service we'll call. I'll save the file. Next, we'll go to app component dot html file. We'll delete all this code and we'll just add a tag where you can display the message. I'll save the file. Then we'll move to app module dot ts file. Now we'll open the root module and add the greeting service to the provider array. I'll import the service. i will add my service to the provider array we are done with the implementation now what we did in this example the greeting service is injected into the app component constructor the get greeting method of the service is used to obtain a personalized message or greeting which is displayed in the component template now We'll run our application and see the output to run the application i'll type the command ng serve and hit enter now our application compiled successfully now i'll click on this url to see the output so you can see the message is showing here that we have written in the greeting service It will take a second to subscribe my channel. Please do subscribe before leaving. Thank you.